December is here, which means if you are a homeschool, you are probably up to one of two things. Number one, you may be ready to take a nice long month off from homeschool altogether. Or if you're anything like me, you are gearing up for a big Christmas unit study. So today I thought we would take some time to just do a mom chat about December school plans. Okay, so I'm sitting here next to my fully decorated Christmas tree and I just wanna be really real with you guys. This was just completed last night. The kids and I stayed up really late and, and finished decorating this. It, what you can't see on camera is, is the rest of my house is a total disaster. There are Christmas storage boxes and bins all over the place. You, you cannot see the dining room table because of all of the decorations scattered everywhere. Hopefully I'll finish it today. But anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're gonna to talk about Christmas unit studies. Today I would like to talk about two in particular, gather round homeschool and campfire curriculums. Just to give you guys a little bit of backstory, I purchased gather rounds Christmas unit several weeks ago when it first hit the market. I, I was so excited for this to come out. But within days of purchasing the unit from gather round, the creators from campfire curriculums reached out to me and sent me a copy of their Christmas unit study to just take a look at and review. So I thought it would be fun to process out loud with you guys as I am considering which unit study I'm going to do with my kids this year and kind of give a compare and contrast of the two different curriculums. <music> So let's get things started by talking about Gather Round's Christmas unit. Now, Gather Round actually had this unit available. It started last year in 2019, and they have just kind of revamped it and given it an update for 2020. This unit study has 12 lessons. It is meant to be done either 12 days leading up to Christmas, or you could do it four days a week for the three weeks prior to Christmas. As usual, this unit has beautiful, beautiful, beautiful illustrations and awesome planning pages in the teacher's guide that are just great if you are just looking for a place to brainstorm and jot down your different ideas of things that you wanna do in December with your family. Now, this unit study comes with a plethora of ideas and activities and options for you to do with your kids. Every lesson you will begin by reading a recitation from the book of Luke with your kids about the Christmas story. And you, you will read the same passage every single day for each of the 12 lessons. And the hope and the goal is, is that by the end of the study, you and your children will probably have this pretty well memorized, be able to, you know, at least paraphrase it pretty easily. There are also weekly Christmas carols or Christmas songs that you can sing or listen to with your kids. This study also gives you recipes that you will be baking as a project with your kids every single week. You'll make sugar cookies, gingerbread cookies, caramel crackers, you know, just, it really builds in getting into the kitchen with your kids as part of your schooling. There are also movie suggestions along with discussion guides that go along with each week's lesson plans. I mean, guys, this is just jam-packed full of Christmas activities and Christmas fun for your kids. Now, that being said, this is meant to be the core of your homeschool for the month of December. This, this is not just something you're going to do for 15 or 20 minutes. This, this is going to take you a couple of hours every day. I know if you're anything like me, baking cookies with my kids can eat up two or three hours very easily. So if you are going to do this curriculum, be prepared that it is going to be the core of your homeschool for the month of December. Okay, so let's just pretend we're going to do a day in the life and do a lesson from gather round what would that look like so let's pretend we're doing lesson one about Mary you would start off the day by sitting down with your kids and praying together and then doing the recitation from Luke chapter 2 you would read the 20 verses aloud about the Christmas story with your kids maybe take turns have each of your kids take a turn reading a verse or two next you would read aloud from the teacher guide two or three pages of information about for this lesson Mary 
Next, each of your kids would open up their own notebook depending on what age they are. Pre-reader, early reader, lower or upper elementary, middle school, high school, that sort of thing. They would all grab their own notebooks and get to work. So for lesson one, the first thing they will do is work on a gift for Jesus. And this is talked about in the lesson plan, but that they will work on their gift for Jesus. The next page, they will practice that week's Christmas song, which is Away in a Manger. And then the last page, they are going to start working on creating a stable, kind of like a diorama. Depending on how old they are will definitely guide how detailed or involved this is. If you have a younger child, they may just cut a page out and color it and stand it upright. If you have older kids, they may go out in the yard and get sticks and or clay or other craft materials and, and really make this more involved. Now, this unit study, like all of the ones that come from Gather Round, has an amazing book suggestion list. It has just dozens of book suggestions that you can check out from your local library or purchase to read aloud to your kids. I've even seen some people on the Gather Round Facebook page and the Gather Round app that are wrapping 12 different picture books and letting their kids open up the picture book every single day to read aloud as a family with their gather round lesson. So, so fun. All in all, I would say this would probably take you a couple of hours depending on how involved your kids wanted to get in their stable making. Other days may take longer than that because there are baking projects and movies that you're going to watch. So if you're going to sit down and, and watch an entire movie, that's going to take a couple of hours along with whatever it is you're doing in your notebook that day. So I, I would say on average, I am planning for my family this to take two or three hours every Every single day. If you're not familiar with Gather Round and this style of family unit studies, I would definitely point you to their website or to some of my other videos that I've done about Gather Round units. So in contrast to that, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about Campfire Curriculum's Christmas unit study. Now, a few weeks ago, back in November, I shared a video here on my channel where I reviewed their Thanksgiving unit study, and I, I shared a lot about campfire curriculums in general. The creators of this curriculum have made these units to be an extracurricular activity, an extra, something to be added on to or supplemented with your homeschool. This is not meant to be the main focus or core of your homeschool day. The lessons are actually meant to only take 20 minutes per day, you, you could probably push them to about 30, but they, they are supposed to be short focused lessons. Just like with Gather Round, there are 12 lessons that go with this curriculum and there's also an additional prologue. So you could do the prologue alongside of lesson one or, or you could do 13 lessons with this curriculum. You could do this again, 12 days in a row leading up to Christmas. You could do this four days a week for three weeks leading up to Christmas or you know however you want to do it for your family for the month of December. So very similarly to gather around each member of your family will have their own journal or notebook that they are using as part of this unit study. You as mama will need to print out the adult notebook for yourself to read from and each of your kids will have their own level whether that's a pre-reader, elementary, middle school, high school, you know that sort of thing. Now, these journals are pretty simple. They, they are not full of worksheets and things like Gather Round where your kids will be doing independent work on their own. Instead, this is just something where all of you are going to be following along and reading aloud and looking through the pages together as a family. Now, as you can see, very similar to Gather Round, the illustrations in Campfire Curriculums are just amazing. The design is beautiful. And personally, I think this unit in particular just has really awesome writing. It will definitely draw you and your children into the story and it is you know a Charlotte Mason feel to it for sure. So let's break it down and just kind of talk about what it would look like to do one lesson from campfire curriculums. So if we were going to do lesson one while the shepherds watched 
you would start out by reading aloud from the adult journal to your kids and you would read you know a couple of pages about the shepherds it's a really personal text trying to help your kids step inside of the shepherd's shoes and and think about things from their perspective as you read you will be presented with optional activity ideas for example they will ask you to make a homemade thermometer there's an idea to dress up in wool and go outside to see what it would feel like to be a shepherd caring for sheep outdoors with wool on there's also a chart where you can track weather for the month of December in your area just to see how it would compare to the shepherds and then at the end of the lesson there is a suggested Bible reading that you can do together as a family and your older kids can use the devotional pages to take notes and, and journal about their thoughts about the lesson that day or about the Bible passage. And, and that's kind of a day in the life of campfire curriculums. You, you can do it really basically and get it done in 20 minutes, or, or you could jump in and do every single activity and, and beef it up to a good hour or more. Now, if you would like to have more information about campfire curriculums, I would definitely direct you to their website or to their YouTube channel. I will link both of those below. And you can also check out my video that I posted a few weeks ago when I reviewed their Thanksgiving unit stuff. Study. Okay, so how, how do I decide? Do I do gather round? Do I do campfire curriculums? Do I try to tackle both of them? What should you do? Which one's better? Which one's worse? Well, I, I've chewed on it for a couple of days and I'm, I'm going to tell you the different options I have thought through. So option number one would be to do gather rounds Christmas unit study. This is a great option if you are looking to take a break from most of your other normal schooling, whether you're doing other gather round units or just other subjects in general, taking a break from your normal day in and day out of school work to really hone in and focus on Christmas together as a family. Now, I think that you could definitely do this unit study and still add in a little bit of language arts and a little bit of math if, if you're still wanting to have a, a fuller school day, or you could just do this for the entire month of December and you know do a little bit of school, but take a nice long break. Option number two would be to do campfire curriculums and to use this as part of your morning basket or as a family devotional in the evenings. This is a great option if you are not necessarily wanting to uproot all of your normal school plans and you're just looking to add a little bit of Christmas fun, a little bit of something new into your homeschool days throughout the month of December, but you're still really wanting to stay on track with most of your schoolwork. This, this would be a really great option for you because you could do it just, you know, 20 or 30 minutes every single day, still have some really great options for Christmas activities that you could do, but it's definitely a lot less pressure, a little bit more low key. And then lastly, there is option number three. And this option is for those of you out there who are Christmas crazy, who just love Christmas, your kids can't get enough of it, and, and you just want to do everything. I would definitely say do both, go for it. In my opinion, that this is very doable. You could do gather round during your normal homeschool hours and replace your other gather round unit studies or other subjects that you're doing. You could still do a little bit of math, still do a little bit of language arts if you wanted to, and, and just make this your normal homeschool day. And then if you wanted, you could add on campfire curriculum lessons as part of your morning basket time or even in the evenings as part of family devotion. You could try, if you wanted to, to maybe link up some of the lessons. For instance, when you're talking about the wise men and gather round, you could do the lesson about the Magi in campfire curriculums. You could definitely try to pair them up. I, I think that that would be doable. Okay, so I'm sure you're asking, you know, Sarah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do with your kids in the month of December? 
Well, I, I'm gonna do a little bit of option three. I think we are going to try to tackle both, um, but not completely. I think we will definitely do all of Gather Round, and I think we will supplement with a few of the lessons from Campfire Curriculums, the lesson about St. Nicholas in particular, and I also like the ones about caroling. I think that those will pair really nicely with the songs that we're learning in Gather Round, so I, I'm definitely planning to do both. I, I probably will be very minimal with the campfire curriculums and, and really do a lot with gather round. Now, that being said, we are going to take a break from all of our other school subjects, all of our other schooling. I may have my kids do math just because that's so much a part of their everyday normal routine when they get up in the morning, but I, I really think we will just be doing probably math and our Christmas unit studies and that is it. So I, I will probably end up doing more like 16 or 17 days of school, 16 or 17 lessons between the two curriculums. I, I know that it's a lot. I'm probably biting off maybe a little bit more than I can chew, but I think it will be really fun. My kids are really excited. This is their favorite time of the year, and honestly, I think all of us these days are just looking for a little bit of fun, looking for a little bit of special, trying to come up with new things we can have fun with and do at home with our kids. Okay guys, well I think that that really wraps things up for today. I hope that this gives you a nice preview into the two different unit studies that you could possibly use in your homeschool this year, whether that is Gather Round or Campfire Curriculums. Honestly, I, ju I just love them both. They are both really great options depending on what your family's needs are this year. Like I said earlier in the video, I will make sure to link Gather Round and Campfire Curriculums information down below. Campfire Curriculums did send me this unit for free to just take a look at, but everything I shared with you today was my own opinions, my own thoughts. I'm, I'm under no obligation to, to say anything good, bad, or indifferent. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, like it below, and if you haven't done so already, please take a second, subscribe to our channel, and leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Let me know what your Christmas plans are in your homeschool this year, whether you are going to jump in and be crazy like me and do a couple different unit studies, or whether you're just going to take a nice long vacation and just watch Netflix with your kids. I would love to hear what you are up to. I hope that you all are getting excited and geared up for Christmas in your homeschool and just looking forward to enjoying this holiday season. See you later.